let's talk sine wave. When we do the sine wave, it's actually going to be very similar to what we just did with the cosine wave. There's only one different step. So we're still going to start the same way with identifying our amplitude, which is multiplied in front, and our period, which is multiplied inside. And remember for the period, we always do 2 pi divided by that number inside, which 2 eighths would simplify to 1 pi fourth. Oh no, lost it. Come back. Sorry guys. There we go. Oh, let's do that all the time. Okay. okay. I want you at this point to pause the video and try to make the boxes for this. Don't try to graph it all the way yet, just try to make the boxes like we did in the last video, and then come back and I'll show you how to finish it. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Our amplitude is 11, so I go up 11 from my middle line, down 11 from my middle line. My period is pi fourths, so I did 1 pi fourths, 2 pi fourths, 3 pi fourths. So that all of these are pi fourths wide. That was very poorly drawn. Let's try that again. There we go. And now we can see we got our boxes. Remember, you need at least two boxes. So up to this point, everything has been the same as it was in the last video. Here's where the difference comes in. We look at the equation, and this is a sine. So if I look back at the start of my notes, here's the sine wave. Middle, top, bottom, middle. That is the sine wave. So if I go down here, for sine, we go middle, top, bottom, middle. And that's what I need to fit in each of these boxes. So middle, top bottom, middle, middle, top, bottom, middle, middle, top, bottom, middle. And word of warning, this is the one where I told you I see a lot of students start to get a little lazy on their drawings, and I'll see students do corner, corner, middle. That's wrong. This is not a diagonal curve. It's straight up and down. So don't let your curve start to become Z-like. It's not a Z. It's straight up and down. But don't let it become pointy either. It's curvy. Anyway, that's it for that problem. Let's try this middle one. I want you to try this problem out all on your own from listing what the amplitude and period are going to be, don't forget 2 pi divided by, to graphing out your boxes, to filling in your boxes with a sine curve, and don't forget this one has a negative in front, which is going to flip your curve. So instead of going middle, top, bottom, middle, the flipped curve goes middle, bottom, top, middle. So that's the curve that you're going to fill this in with. So pause the video and try to fill all of that out on your own and then come back to see how you did. Let's see how you did. Our amplitude is always the number in front. Don't put the negative on it. We drop the negative until the end. Our period is 2 pi divided by the number inside. The number inside is 4 pi. So 2 pi over 4 pi, the pi's cancel, and that gives me 2 fourths, or 1 half simplified. So for my amplitude, I go up 3, down 3 to do my amplitude lines. 
For my period, I want all my periods to be one half y. So I've got one half, two halves, three halves, four halves. And then I also have the other direction, negative one half, negative two halves. I just need three of these boxes, so I got my three boxes here. And then I need to fit my sign shape into it. With that negative, it's going to go middle, bottom, top, middle. So middle, bottom, top, middle. Middle, bottom, top, middle. And there's our curve. Let's do one more together. We're going to do this last one, and I'm going to have you do the same thing that you did last time, where I want you to try this out on your own and then come back and see how you did. So we'll list amplitude, period, and I want you to go from there. So pause the video and try this out on your own. Let's see how you did. Amplitude is the number in front, that's a four. Period is the number inside, so two pi divided by one third. We do leave flip change, leave the numerator, flip the denominator, change it to multiplying. Two pi times three is six pi. So for the amplitude, I go up four, down four, make my amplitude lines. My period should all be six pi apart. So I got 6 pi, 12 pi, and then I also got one to the left, negative 6 pi. So that gives me my boxes. This is a sine wave, and there's no negative, so I just do middle, top, bottom, middle, and that's the shape, middle, top, bottom, middle, that I fit into all my boxes. And that is graphing our sine and cosine stuff. For your paper homework, if you come to this page right here, you'll have 6, 8, and 9 to do. And then if you go past the page we were just on, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, ready, set, go.